pie again. Uh, we're going to be weighing some eggs tonight. The reason why we weigh eggs is to monitor the weight loss because we have an optimum weight loss of about 15% for best hatchability. So without further ado, we'll crack on with that. We're going to show you how to put them on the Ames program. I hope David doesn't mind. It's his, he designed the program, but we're going to put them on there and you'll see how that works. If you've got a, a farm like this, or bigger even, um, you don't know how you manage without this program. You really need it. So anyway, I'll start weighing eggs. We're not high tech, we weigh them, we'll write their weights down and then we put them on the program in the other in the office. Okay? Right. This egg's in a wet incubator. The reason for this is we know this egg is running low. It's losing about 18.5% of its weight. We need it to lose about 15%. So you stick it in the wet incubator, it slows it down. It should hopefully be on target, but we'll we'll show you that later. So this egg is 50, uh, 95, but I'll put my glasses on, I'm covered in blood. I cover, <laughs> I cover in hair, blood and guts and snots and stuff. So, right, so that's uh, 39.29. Right, so this is uh, 1995. The part of the job that I really don't like. It's boring us out. So, uh, it's going to be an early rate to switch off. 85. 85 there. So that is 43.11. Okay. That egg there will move tomorrow or the next year or whatever it is. Uh, and that's a couple of days before it's due to pip. We're not doing it in any particular order. 128. One, two, eight. Four, three point eight nine grams. That egg is now. Right, right, that's all the eggs weighed off. We did it on time last because I would have just bored the death of you because it bores me. What we do, just incidentally, while we're in here, two or three times a day, we do. I'm, this is neither a, a lecture or a lesson. Every day we'll rotate them quarter one way, quarter the other way, and move them different positions. We'll, we'll kind of they follow each other like a conga line and um, it's meant to give them better vein growth and we'll do it with the other ones so that's switched off now it's just the last one there so we'll go put these on the aims I always look around to make sure you've shut the doors because it wouldn't be the first time I've left the door open or an egg on the skills so let's go do that this is the aims program I can't begin to tell you on how in depth it is. I'll maybe sit and uh, have a little flick through it um, one day, if that's all right with David, of course. It's so in depth, it's mad. But anyway, this is what eggs. Every egg has a number. So one clutch of eggs, example, could be 82, 92, 102. It depends on how many eggs, but there's only one 82. On the system that's not like one two three room four one two three room five if that makes sense so you shouldn't get them confused however we have got two 119s as she says Kimberly's done it wrong and she says I've done it wrong so I lost the argument so right here's what we do so that's the information so when we've got an egg it's been laid we will wait we are we know the date and the time it was laid look exactly 2043 that's the mother 
that's the fella so that's going to be a per pure peregrine because he's a peregrine uh the days to pip 30.7 they change this program the more eggs you put in from a particular female it takes an average on how many days to pip and you'll be surprised on the variations is like from 30 nearly 30 days 30.1 days or something to 31 days the old and pip the same like we used to think it was first weighed then at that time the first recorded weight 47.86 grams you can measure them stuff i'm sure david's going to complain to us for not weight measuring them and all but to be fair i cannot be bothered if you take a clutch and you haven't had a chance to wear them they've been there i have not 10 days or two weeks or whatever you've had them you would measure them and this automatically does the calculation for them eggs and the more calculations it does for a particular egg as you put the weights in it also makes the uh, the calculation more accurate so there you go uh, method of fertilization ai voluntary and we clean our eggs so it was dipped in f10 uh so crack on put the weight in so this is egg 82 so you put in you and then you click on there and then it's 42.24 so 42.24 now then so there you go that egg if you can see is running high and it's highlighted in red right i'm going to flip that across to the graph there's the graph so this egg is up there so we're gonna pop a couple holes in and then that will bring it down to here there's only one and a half percent between them two lines so i'm gonna bring that down some people may think that's okay running at about 13 percent uh -uh, i'm not having that it's coming down there so what i will do with that one i'll put one two i think i'll put three holes in that so what i do on the paper i simply do that one two three okay now my holes is probably smaller than the holes well i know a lot of people use a drill bit to put the holes in uh a bit overkill for me so i'll show you how i do it like everything i do is quite uh crude but it works a treat and i've done thousands and thousands of them so back to the weights so there you go so that's going to be there and we're going to drill that egg so we'll just click on there, it's drilled. It is still alive because I checked them before. And that's it. 83. So that is 40.97. Right, that is 12%. So that needs, again, if we're going to the graph, it's up here. So I need to get three into that. To be honest, I should have been onto this one sooner. I kind of dropped the ball a little bit on that one. But never mind we'll get it done so that there when you go to there that's the weight that it expects to be uh it pip so we're gonna get to jump to 85 that is 43.11 there you go and that's see that's lovely it's in green we're looking for 15 percent it's 0.17 percent oh well that, that's perfect that's great um we'll go to that one 89 47.12 oh see there's another one the same so that needs uh if we go into there so you can see the chart that's up here that needs three holes to bring it into here We're going to punch holes in. It's not high tech, but it, it makes sense to me. That's the egg number. That's the weight. It's obviously too high in weight. I'm going to put three holes in. And that was the easiest way to do it. Four holes, four holes, one hole, knee holes. Okay. 
you can see how many full, uh, eggs need w wet this one here I've either put too many holes in which I'll say tape to because obviously uh, losing too much or it'll go in the wet incubator which is that no particular order we'll just go from incubator to incubator doing it what I use is which is super high tech came from uh, NASA it's one of them all right and one of them because that's the best disinfectant you can ever get I think we'll agree so if we just come across here I'll take the book with us because that's handy you're gonna think what a bunch of primitive primates these lot are but it works for us so egg number 85 egg number 85 note once now data it so I'm just gonna pick an egg 125 125 is up there oh three holes right so then make sure I've done that I just need to go into the can last second this is to identify where the air sale is can you see there can, can you see that on the camera okay right I'm gonna put three holes in there now I know a lot of you use drills and all the rest of it but this is all I do you can see that Kimberly I'll just go pop 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 three holes that's it and then give it a little doofa so we're not cross contaminating 128 is nout it needs nout day I like the one that needs nout 127 it needs three holes again can you see the sale? so all I do is that finger's touching and I just go pop 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 one three three nothing one two four four rolls four four candles right there's a little hole you can see I can tell just by the size of the air cell that it needs more weight off anywhere so if you're watching pop 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 need mucking on with drills we don't like drills drills are for wood there you go 132 that's uh, needs 11.8 12 put 3 in there you go 3 the holes I don't know if you can see that can you see that or not we, a teeny weeny polka dot bikini when we put a hole in around about 14 days each hole brings it down about 1% other factors get involved of course the size of the egg and all the rest of it but um, about one percent so on half it's needing two two percent off so if it's one thirteen I'll put two holes in and then we'll adjust it later but just a rough guide that's what we'll get so where should we start the front or the back the back okay so 98 that's the one that needs tape it's got two holes I'll do that at the end I'm gonna put that there okay 121 needs four holes that's right sure yeah. so it needs four holes yeah right so I'm not gonna bore you by doing all the eggs I should wipe these glasses because there's more spots on that I'll probably end up putting holes in eggs that I don't need to. I hope you've seen a little bit something as I say it's everything's what we do it's doesn't matter what other people do for um, 
well, I was willing to listen to other people, but this suits us. So, so see you again next time. Thank you very much.